because mm. my son can have a meltdown between time. like 20 seconds to like five minutes. Wow. So imagine me with one child in hand and the cane trying to calm him down. It makes things a lot hard. That's right. We're on live. We're going to get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? Welcome to Third Eye Visions, where we motivate the blind, stimulate your mind, and welcome all kind. A parent who cares for an autistic child. Do me a favor, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, like, share, and comment. Not in that order, order though, but please do, do it all. Today I am speaking with Fernanda. She is the mother of a um, four-year-old, right? Yeah, he's four. Who, Okay, who has autism. She also is visually impaired. She will be bringing us into her life. And it's a good thing for me because I've heard so much about uh, autism and now I can get it firsthand <clears throat> from someone like her. So let's uh, waste no time and bring on from lo living with low vision all the way from Australia, Fernanda, how you doing? Hey, good morning. How are you? If, uh, I'm okay. Uh, what time is it over over there in uh, Australia? It is six fifty three a.m. Six fifty three. See, we are see so so y'all. We are all over the world. We're everywhere. So, yeah. I am I am glad to have you here. Briefly, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and definitely you know about your channel and what we can uh, find on that channel if. Uh, any of my audience, which I hope y'all do go check her out. Well, I've been quite lazy with my channel because I've been quite busy lately, studying, taking care of my son and making sure he has all his therapies and doing all his therapies at home as well, especially in this pandemic, it makes things a lot harder. Um, my channel, I used to do, do a lot of cooking videos, um, day in the life videos, get ready with me videos. Um, I've done a little bit of everything I could think of. Um, I even did a Facebook Q and A last year. Okay. And since my son has been diagnosed, I haven't put anything up on my YouTube channel. Okay. But so still, it was a long battle yeah. for him to get it diagnosed. Okay. <laughs> so well, I've been quite busy with that. We're going to talk about that because I definitely, um, you know, want to know about how, how is it like. But definitely, yeah, I want y'all y'all go support her channel. Uh, give them the name uh, of your channel again. It's Living With Low Vision okay. on YouTube. Living With Low Vision. All right. Yeah. Briefly, tell us, who is Fernanda? Who are you? Well, I am a single mom to a four-year-old. I have a 12 year old, but she lives with her grandparents. So I have my four year old with me 24 seven. Unfortunately, my ex-husband is not part of my son's life. So I'm doing both role mother and father at the same time. And I do have 10% of vision. And my little monkey, I just call him the little monkey, um, takes advantage of that. So he knows, mommy won't see this, so I'm gonna do this. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that's how little, kid, little kids are like that. I have a six yeah. year old and he definitely uh, he tries me a great deal so i understand yeah. that wholeheartedly um how long you've been have you been living in australia i don't know if you um have. i was born in santiago chile so i am bilingual so i speak spanish and english and right now i'm actually learning auslan so it's asl but the australian version of sign language Okay. just to communicate a bit better with my son because he with the autism and global development delay he's not reaching the milestones of a child his age okay now as a parent uh would you say that someone who who, who has low vision it's difficult um and if so explain why or if, or if it's easy explain your answer as well well i think being a parent 
in general is quite hard, um, especially having, like I said, 10% of vision. Um, but the autism side has taken a severe toll. Like, he doesn't understand social protocols. Like, when we cross the road, you have to hold the hands. Or when you're, you know, especially with COVID, that you have to stand sun and, oh, sanitize your hands all the time. He's not really used to that. Mm-hmm. Um, teaching him to be a bit more gentle with his play or explain to him why we can't do some things in public. Um, and trying to be patient. Um, I took him to the aquarium a couple of weeks ago in Sydney City. So I live in Sydney. Um, so trying to understand, let him know, okay, we have to line up in the queue. We have to wait. And when we have our turn, then we can go in, look at the sharks, look at the um, dugongs and things like that. Mm-hmm. Um but like I said, it's you know it's part of being a parent. Like I right. chose to be a parent. I chose to separate from my ex-husband, and I chose to do this. I've got no choice. <laughs> okay, so you say it would be kind of it's rather right now it's rather difficult on a, on a scale from one to ten, ten being the the uh, the hardest and one being the easiest. What would you rank it as far as your? I you would say it's an eight. Come again. An eight, honestly. Okay. Because oh, okay. and I love that. I love he that. He doesn't I'm... talk, so he's partially non-verbal. So trying to get him to talk is a challenge for him to tell me what's going on. Okay. So communication, obviously, with someone who has low vision and who's legally blind, they need that verbal communication. Unfortunately, I don't have that. Wow. Okay. Uh, are you a stay-at-home mom? Yes. Um. Well, I assume it's like in the US that the employment for people who are legally blind or low vision has a high um, unemployment rate, just like you. Just like over here, yeah. Exactly. So I've been been looking for work for a couple of years. I was quite lucky that I did work in government for three years, but since then I haven't got much. I haven't even got work. Well, join the party because I've been looking. I'm employed (laughs) right now, but I cannot during my job so and yeah. i've been looking for for some time i have a college degree but it's not about me this is about you what is your daily yeah. routine, what is your daily routine like as a parent not 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 well, not, 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 not <laughs> of an autistic child of your child yeah. but just a parent in general because we're going to talk about that that's a whole segment so what's your daily routine like you get up in the morning you have to do this since you're a stay-at-home mom what do you have to do well i try to make every day a bit different um so normally get up, make cereal, have cereal for breakfast. Um, Well, one of the autism traits is my son's always hungry. So as soon as breakfast finished, he's like, snack, snack. As soon as he's finished eating, it's always food. Um, So um, he, well, Mondays we're normally out. He will be going out to see friends or trying to do some um, healing like spiritual exercises for him just to help him relax mm-hmm. um, Tuesdays he'll be studying gymnastics soon so hopefully that will calm him down mm-hmm. but he's in preschool Wednesdays Thursdays and Fridays <laughs> so give you a little time on the on those yeah. days okay so I study Thursday and Fridays okay now about your child um, what's what's his name because I want I want to address I want to address him as such what's his name well he's got a Spanish name, so it's Guillermo. And, like and, Guillermo de Toro, like the famous Mexican director. So Okay, and transfer I translate that to English. What what does that mean in English? Yeah. Huh? What does that mean in English? William. Oh William. Okay, cool. Tell us about William's uh uh you know his, his day, daily activities. Um what's what's well, it like? He wakes up, <laughs> attacks the cats. <laughs> Mm-hmm. So the cat hide from him. Um, but normally it's just food. Mum, snacks, this, snacks. Um, he's not allowed to play in the backyard because he threw something at the dog next door. Um, he loves going out, so he wants to go out and explore every day. Um, he loves animals, so every now and then we go down to the south and near the farms. 
So he gets to see the chickens, the ponies, the goats. He loves that. Um, I mean, every day is quite different. <laughs> okay. So, so you but tried basically, to basically put some different uh, activities in his, in, his, in his life, like every day you try yeah. to... Okay, that's cool. Um, now, explain to me, because I, I don't know what mm-hmm. autism really is. Give me like the definition of it. Well, um, my definition, I just think it's a superpower. <laughs> um, so autism is a spectrum. So my son's level two autism. Mm-hmm. Um, he is like, he won't sit down. Like getting him to sit down is a hassle. Getting mm-hmm. Play-Doh off him is a nightmare. Mm-hmm. Um, right now he's obsessed with, um, I don't know if you got them in the US, but well, she's toys are really small, like Disney toys that you can put on your pencils. Mm. He's really into that. He's really into sensory style um, play. Um, okay. So I'm trying to get in contact with Cocky Guides. It's an Australian sensory and tactile tour company and hopefully try to do something with me and my son and maybe go out and do a lot of feeling of anything around Sydney, which will make things a bit hard. Because <laughs> mm-hmm. okay. most of my travels, like I do have my me time and I do go out with Cocky Guy tours, but it's normally a lot of wine, a lot of drinking. So I'm trying to think how can we cater that to a child without having alcohol? <laughs> yeah, I understand. So um, about uh, uh, a person who has autism, <laughs> I was always told that they they have a certain routine, and if you try to disrupt disrupt the uh, routine, they they become you know agitated. Is that true or false? With, well, autism, everything's different. So my son has no routine. He, if I try to structure a routine, he does not function that well. Okay. Um, I'm quite lucky. On Mondays, we do have play group, and I get to meet with other mums with autism. Okay. Um, like, I think the biggest struggle most of us have is food because they're always hungry. Okay. But considering they're running around, they don't put on weight. I'm like, I wish I had that <laughs> metabolism. Mm-hmm. Um, I think the other struggle of autism is tantrums, especially when out in public. Um, because my son can have a meltdown between fun. like 20 seconds to like five minutes. Wow. So imagine me with one child in hand and the cane trying to calm him down. It makes things a lot hard. Wow. Okay. Is he in, in school? You, you said he's not in school right now? Or? No, I'm actually holding him back for a year because I don't think he's ready to go to school as of yet. Oh, wow. Okay. Now, you did explain to uh, uh, me about uh, how difficult it is for someone who has low vision you know as a parent yeah. to have a child who has autism is you, you you claim that it's sort of difficult you don't, you want to expound a little bit more on that or i think well any parent with a sighted sighted child you have to do that extra ever extra milestone to prove to people thinking okay people with low vision can't do this people you're more than welcome sorry google just went on <laughs> um i think because I don't know much parents who have low vision or legally blind here in Australia. I think you have to put that extra effort, even though society thinks you can't really do it. And especially coming from Hispanic Latino culture, it's like normally you're married, you have a man, the man's supposed to help you and I'm doing everything on my own. Mm -hmm. So culture shock as well to people's like, how can she do this if she's legally blind? How can she catch a bus or no? How can she you know get around i'm like public transport Mm -hmm. um like oh how do you do this how do you do that and i have to explain to them well i put an extra effort spend more time with my son i don't let him use ipad as much as he would like to um i think well i think with any disability you have to prove people wrong um, you, just you, to, just for your disability not to defy you as a 
person. You know how people put people with disability in a bubble and think they can't do this, they can't right. do that. Right. Like as if they're unabled and you have to prove prove people wrong. Do you find that annoying sometimes when you have having to prove people all the time or are you, are you just feeling um it's something I'm wrong? used to. I am used to proving people wrong. Great. Brilliant. Man, I, I, I'm I'm really enjoying this. Um, so, as far as your your child, um, is there anything else you want to uh, 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 let us know about you know raising a a, a person who has autism, um, mm-hmm. the difficulties or the you know the you know the, the pluses, the minuses, or whatever you want to share that, especially for parents who are dealing with it right now and just you need somebody to, to talk to. Uh, you have the experience when that what can you basically share what else can you share like on I would say be extremely patient know that the world doesn't you know um, go around you like it doesn't hover you and you'll need me time you'll need to at least once a fortnight or once a week go out and enjoy a cup of coffee enjoy your time by yourself um I mean, it was really hard for me in the beginning to separate from my son for my own separation anxiety because um, my fear was, oh, he doesn't talk. How is the person taking care of him going to communicate with him? So I had to let that fear slowly go away. Mm. I don't know if you're trying to understand what I'm trying yeah, to say. I, I, I got it. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, like I said, me time, counselling if you need counselling, going out with friends. And speaking of the devil, he just woke up. Okay. <laughs> Well, we're not going to keep you too long because I know you have things to do. But lastly, um, tell everybody again where they could find you and the name of your channel because I really thank you for coming on coming on and sharing some light on this uh, particular well, subject. You can find me on YouTube, TikTok, um, Instagram, and Facebook as Living With Low Vision. So I'm more frequent on Instagram and Facebook than YouTube because it's easier. I can take a photo and that's it. Just, but with YouTube, unfortunately, right now, I don't really have the time for it as much as I used to. Well, I'm glad I was able to find you and I'm glad that you were able to come on and share your story. And thanks again for coming on, Fernanda. I really enjoyed